僕が生まれたこの島の空を僕はどれくらい知ってるんだろう輝く星も流れる Welcome to Okinawa. The semi tropical island is the largest in the chain of the Ryukyu Islands and is the capital of the most southern prefecture in Japan. Surrounded by beautiful beaches, the island has an average annual temperature of 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Okinawa thrives from the popular tourism industry and is considered a hotbed for a variety of recreational water activities. You can find almost everything here from hottie or dragon boat races, swimming, scuba diving, kayaking, Jet skiing, surfing, and kiteboarding. With so many aquatic activities available year round, the potential for mishaps is high. The island has lost a number of service members, residents, and tourists who have fallen prey to the waters around Okinawa. An average of 34 drowning deaths occur every year. People who are at risk are those who tend to lack knowledge of the water hazards, exceeding their swimming abilities, Engaging in risky behavior and recreating in locations not supervised by trained personnel. This video was developed to educate people on the local ocean hazards they may encounter and reinforce best safety measures. Utilizing risk management, adhering to warning signs, and engaging in safe practices will allow you to take advantage of the world class activities that Okinawa provides. We just want everyone to enjoy themselves safely and return home in good health. Picture this. It's a beautiful day to go swimming, so you and your friends decide to get away from it all and head to the beach. After a while, you decide to cool off in the water by yourself, leaving the group behind to finish a game of volleyball. Within several minutes, you notice that the water is getting deeper and the current is becoming stronger. You choose to swim back, making little progress. You start to swim harder. The current continues to pull you further out while you try to swim against it. Now, you're getting tired and panic sets in. You start shouting for help, but no one can hear you. No longer able to support your own body in the water, you begin to sink. Your life passes before your eyes. You start thinking about your family and all the loved ones you're going to leave behind. In less than 30 seconds, you're gone. How did this great day turn into such a tragedy? Do you think this can't happen to you? How different are you than those people who've lost their lives in recreational water fatalities in past years? It can happen to anyone. This water safety video will address the water conditions on Okinawa, the major causes of drowning, and what you can do to protect yourself from becoming a statistic. One of the biggest misconceptions about Okinawa's coastal waters is that large waves are not present here. Okinawa has several large surfing locations that have been featured in surfing magazines and videos. The most effective safety precaution you can take is to go with someone who is experiencing the area you are headed to. And if no locals are in the water, it's a good indication the conditions may be treacherous. The most important thing you should learn is how to evaluate the conditions at the site. Inexperienced swimmers, surfers, and divers are especially at risk and can easily find themselves in serious danger. Large waves tend to slam victims into reefs, causing injuries from reef rash and broken bones to concussions and even death. Sometimes lives are lost before, during, and after a typhoon when the surf is unusually high and dangerous. Okinawa is located in an area known as Typhoon Alley, which can experience several major storms in a season. The typhoon period occurs between the months of May through November. The devastating power from Mother Nature has produced super typhoons that hit the island with wind gusts. Exceeding 180 miles per hour. To prepare the military community for these harsh storms, Kadena's 18th Wing Weather Flight issues tropical cyclone conditions of readiness, referred to as TC Core. They range from the lowest condition of TC Core 4, which means the destructive winds of 50 knots or greater are possible within the next 72 hours, to the most severe condition of TC Core 1 emergency, which indicates wind gusts of 50 knots or greater are occurring. The surf has been known to crash over seawalls and wash out roadways, so it's very important to stay away from the coastline during the heavy winds and high seas created by a typhoon. During one storm, three Marines were swept offshore while wave watching at Camp Sampa Misaki and lost at sea, never to be found. 
currents are also a leading hazard for all water enthusiasts. They are particularly dangerous for novice and weak swimmers. The two types of currents present in the surrounding waters are longshore currents and rip currents. Longshore currents move parallel to the shoreline. Typically, inexperienced swimmers try to swim against the current in an effort to return back to where they entered the water. If you ever get caught in a longshore current, swim with the current in an angle toward the shoreline. You may not end up where you entered, but you should be able to walk back to the location once on shore. The other type of current is called a rip current, dubbed the drowning machine by water safety experts. Worldwide, rip currents kill more beachgoers than any other natural water hazard. They are very dangerous and usually form as waves disperse along the beach, causing water to become trapped between the shoreline and underwater structures such as sandbars or reefs. As the water flows away from the beach, it will seek a path with the least resistance, such as a break in the sandbar or deep areas. Because of this, rip currents are fairly narrow, usually 20 to 30 yards across. A strong rip moves at the rate of 5 miles per hour, making it almost impossible to swim against. Ironically, some of the worst rips occur on pleasant sunny days. Under these conditions, they typically originate from a large storm swell located several hundred miles off the coast. If you become caught in a rip current, you'll have great difficulty trying to swim towards shore. The current won't pull you under, it will carry you further away from the coast. The best thing to do is to remain calm, stay afloat, and ride out the current until you're past the surf zone. Then, raise your hands and call out for help. Or, if you're a strong swimmer, swim at an angle away from the current and back towards the beach. Because water conditions change rapidly around the island, the military enforces sea condition standards that inform personnel of the current dangers. These conditions are based on wind speed, weather forecasts, and observe weather conditions and are aired continuously on Armed Forces Network Radio and Television. What occurs on one side of the island may not be occurring on the other side. For this reason, sea conditions are broken down into two sectors, east and west, with three conditions. All clear, caution, and danger. During sea condition all clear, water conditions are ideal for water-related activities. Under condition caution, hazardous conditions may exist. Exercise caution when entering the water. When sea condition danger is announced, life-threatening conditions exist. Therefore, water entry is prohibited. Except under the following conditions. Recreational daytime swimming in designated swim areas and on and off military installations when staffed by lifeguards and open for public use. Professionally monitored athletic competitions staffed with trained rescue personnel, e.g. dragon boat races, triathlons, open ocean swims. Aboard Okuma when the Okuma commander, deputy commander, determines allowable water activities. Aboard Tori Station when the garrison commander determines allowable water activities. Aboard White Beach when the commander, fleet activities, Okinawa, determines allowable water activities. All military scuba dive centers stop issuing scuba equipment. Boating operations close to the public. Remember though, forecasts are only predictions of anticipated conditions. The surf and other weather at the beach may be very different. Regardless of the predictions, if the sea state seems hazardous, stay ashore. Most drownings on Okinawa are the result of three major causes. The failure to recognize a hazardous condition exists, such as the presence of strong currents or difficulty of the egress route. The second major cause is the inability of the victim to get out of a dangerous situation. Once the victims are exposed to the hazard, they are not sure exactly what to do. And the third cause is that the swimmer lacks the knowledge of life-saving skills to perform a self-rescue or assistance from others is simply not available. Far too many drownings could have been prevented had the victim been educated about local dangers and trained in water survival skills. In addition to the major causes of drowning, there are also personal dangers. Panic is often the largest contributing factor in a drowning. People lose control of their ability to think rationally, body movement becomes very erratic, and keeping the head above the water is extremely difficult. Exhaustion is the state when a victim has finally reached a point where their body and mind can no longer help them survive. Swimmers overcome by exhaustion often find themselves in dangerous situations and continue to struggle in order to make it to safety. Cramps are sudden painful muscle contractions which will not allow for normal muscle movement. The most common occurrence happens in the calf muscle. 
This results in the swimmer losing the ability to keep momentum and stay above the water. If muscle cramps occur while swimming, change to a different stroke and get out of the water if possible to stretch and massage the area. Shallow water blackout occurs when a person hyperventilates before going underwater. This condition is most frequently experienced by snorkelers and free divers. The breathing reflex is controlled by the amount of carbon dioxide in the bloodstream. Hyperventilation decreases the amount of carbon dioxide, delaying the breathing reflex and making it possible for someone to hold their breath until they go unconscious. This usually happens in shallow water when the person is ascending from the dive. The safest practice is to avoid the kind of overexertion frequently associated with hyperventilation and to know your limits. Investigations into drownings have determined the use of drugs and alcohol slow down one's reaction time and make dangerous situations look less threatening. Victims frequently misjudge weather, water conditions, or swimming abilities. Drugs and alcohol, as the cause of drowning deaths within the military community on Okinawa, cannot be fully determined in every case, as some victims' bodies were never recovered. There are several types of dangerous marine life you need to know about. One of the most hazardous creatures is the cone shell. It has significant toxic venom, which can be fatal to humans. The shape of the cone has a gradual taper from the wide end to the sharp end and comes in a variety of colors. If you find any shell that meets this description, leave it alone. The animal has a very long, needle-like spine which acts as a harpoon to inject toxin into its prey and can easily penetrate a pocket or bag to collect shells. Sea urchins have very long, brittle spines that can pierce skin and break off. Should this occur, you may need to seek medical attention to have them removed. A puncture wound from a sea urchin can cause swelling and redness around the area, which may lead to severe pain and infection. Wearing dive gloves or foot protection, such as booties, will greatly reduce your chances of being injured. Another species to watch out for is the crown of thorn sea star, which gets its name from the venomous, thorn-like spines that cover its body. It's the second largest sea star in the world and produces a neurotoxin from its spines, which are capable of penetrating wetsuits and other clothing. The venom can cause sharp, stinging pain that can last for hours, as well as nausea and vomiting. From August through November, box jellyfish roam the surrounding waters of the island, as they are moved by northerly currents from their natural habitat near Australia. They produce toxic venom so powerful it has the ability to cause serious injury and fatal conditions. If you are stung, exit the water immediately. Common practice is to apply generous amounts of vinegar prior to and after the stinging tentacles are removed. Removing additional tentacles should be done with gloves, tweezers, a towel, or credit card to prevent further injury as stings can occur even from tentacles which have broken off or from a dead box jellyfish. Most off-base locations open to the general public and designated for recreational swimming provide jellyfish barrier nets to prevent these life forms from entering the swim area. Be careful though, as these nets are not 100% effective since very small jellyfish can penetrate the openings in the net or large waves in the surf zone can project them over the net into the swim area. You can search for more information about local hazardous sea life and remedies online. Scuba diving is a favorite pastime on the island, as Okinawa is world-renowned for its vast number of incredible dive spots which are easily accessible from the shoreline. However, entering the water from the coast is much more hazardous than from a boat, because rough conditions near shore can threaten divers during entry and exits. Inshore surf and currents are carefully evaluated during the planning process. It is also important to note that personnel must be certified in order to participate in recreational diving activities. Never loan or rent scuba equipment to someone who does not possess current certification. Violators may face punitive action if caught. Those just arriving on island or returning from a long deployment should take a refresher course to hone their skills. Ensure your gear is inspected by a professional yearly and always inspect your equipment for functionality before, during, and after your dive. It's also crucial to dive with someone with experience at the site you're going to who is familiar with the hazards to avoid. 
Some examples of popular water locations on island where surf and current need to be carefully assessed include Cape Hado Masaki at the northern tip of the island. Access to the water can be difficult from land as cliffs protrude directly out of the water. This is where the Pacific Ocean and the East China Sea merge. The water is routinely exposed to severe wind conditions causing high surf and treacherous currents. The area is considered a Category 5 dive spot, which means it's a very difficult dive under ideal conditions and should only be entered by experienced, advanced, open water certified divers or above. On the west side of the island, approximately three miles from Tori Station, is Cape Zampa Misaki, also known as Bolo Point. This area is easily recognized by the large lighthouse at the point of the Cape. The area is one of the few on island not protected by outlying reefs. The water becomes very deep within a few feet of land and is known for strong currents and harsh wave surges during stormy conditions. Over the years, many lives have been lost in this area, with a significant number of the bodies never recovered. The majority of you watching this film will decide to take advantage of the pristine waters of Okinawa. Before you do, take into consideration some basic water safety guidelines. Never swim alone. If you get into trouble, nobody will be there to assist you or obtain additional help. Always swim in a populated location, most preferably in the presence of lifeguards. Your chances of drowning are greatly reduced when swimming where lifeguards are on duty. Always enter the water feet first when water clarity is reduced. There's no telling what hazards lay beneath the surface, such as rocks, coral, sandbars, or submerged trees. Swimmers are exposed to the dangers of head and spinal injury when diving head first into unknown water depths. Furthermore, it's good practice to inform others, such as a friend, neighbor, or command duty representative as to what beach or dive spot you're going to and your expected time of return, so someone can call for help if you're overdue. Be sure to notify them upon your return. Remember, there are potential hazards for almost any activity, so never take safety for granted. With a few simple precautions, you can ensure your tour in Okinawa is a pleasurable and unforgettable experience. Stay safe and have fun.